Konnichiwa. So, I used to use Resolve Fairlight for audio editing, but black magic is just overrated craps and I'm done with them, and Audacity can't preview filters in real time, so it is pretty much useless, I thought to try Adobe Audition. I'm not audition expert but I spent a couple of hours on this, and here's a quick demo on how nicely this program works. To keep it simple to follow, I will only use default presets on filters, and I will only add the very essentials, that are pretty much only three effects. So, neural engine, just in voice, 104% speech speed, and let's go! Kanichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. So, I'm downloading the file and importing it to Audition 2019. By the way, Amazon Poly web app is totally free to use, and the API price is pretty much nothing, if you want to use text to speech on videos etc. First thing to do, is to convert audio sample from 24 to 96 Hz. I find that works better when we adjust the power of the effects. And I'm telling you, if Adobe was giving better samples quality, there wouldn't be a way to recognize this was a text-to-speech voice. Anyway, the most important thing here is to enable dithering, and set it to Gaussian. Obviously, the most important thing to achieve good results is to edit the SSML. In a previous video I had a short demo how we can use lexicons with pronunciations, and I will add a link to YouTube description. What it really needs, is practice and I have days of practice. In fact, I believe Amazon should study me for side effects, after using Poly that much. Anyway, let me play this file before applying anything, but keep in mind that OBS Studio kinda distorting the actual sound. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. So, the first filter I will add is a multiband compressor, and use the Deesser preset. Originally I had used three multiband compressors, and you need to know this is where the most action is happening. And let's play it again. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. See? The voice is already cuter, and I can reach cute levels you can't even imagine. But then people starting filthy comments, so I'm avoiding it. Next I will add one more deesser and set it to reduce hi-hat bleed. And play it again. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. Next I will add a dynamics filter, and there is so much we can do here. Dynamics voice processing needs a dedicated tutorial itself, but for now I will just set that to soft clip. Maybe, if people show interest on such tutorials, that I really doubt, I will start doing some more advanced things. Anyway, and play! Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. And now, the real reason I uploaded this video. All the rest are kinda typical sound effects, but then I found parametric equalizer, I didn't know about. I will set it to vocal enchanter, and just hear this magic. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. Good one, huh? And now see one more cool thing. I can increase the volume like a lot, and yet, there won't be much distortion. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. That was too much. One more. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers and there is nothing you can do to stop me. And imagine it is mostly the OBS recording that distorting the sound. I believe that is mostly to do with changing the frequency to 96 Hz before. Anyway, and that's our original audio clip for comparison. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. And one more time after the editing. And I have the sound plus 11 decibels. Konnichiwa! How are you today? This is Linux motherfuckers, and there is nothing you can do to stop me. One last thing, I didn't get bothered with pitch at all. 
That's because Amazon Polly includes pitch and timbre effects on SSML, that combined can do miracles. But unfortunately they aren't available yet for the neural engine. Probably you will say, just get a good microphone and you don't need any sound editing. But you are so wrong. Just listen actors on interviews, and compare with listening them to movies.